Greetings, true believers. It is I, Father Derek, alongside the beast from the Northeast, Brute Van Slyke. And tonight, Brute Van Slyke is going to be stepping into the ring against Maddock. Maddock, we heard your comments, and we're here right now to reply to those. You think you can defeat Brute Van Slyke? I think that's preposterous. Now, Maddock, let me inform you right here, right now, that I am a beacon of light, and I am going to shine the light of my brilliance to cast aside the giant dark shadow cast by your ignorance. You think you can bring down Brute Van Slyke with a punch? Well, I've got some unfortunate news for you, Maddock, because Brute Van Slyke has been to Japan. Brute Van Slyke has competed against the biggest and the baddest in the land of the rising sun, and Brute Van Slyke has exchanged shots with the heaviest hitters of strong style. So I don't know what kind of glass-jawed yokels that you've been competing against recently, but Brute Van Slyke is in a completely different league. If you think that you are going to beat him, <laughs> We are going to prove you wrong. I assure you that you, Maddock, are on the road to ruin, and your future is forsaken. Tell him, Brute. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Father Derek. They call this a hoss fight. <laughs> you come around, you start throwing chairs like you're some big man. I ain't got to throw around some Ikea furniture to show how big and bad Brute Van Slyke is. No, 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 no. I throw around the biggest and the baddest that aren't quite brute. And let me tell you, Maddox, they come a lot bigger and badder than you. But that's okay. You can put on your little kick pads. You can put on your young lions. You can do whatever you need to do. Because when the bell rings in Ransomville, New York, there's three things you're going to learn. One, you don't piss into the wind. Two, you don't touch Terry Gordy's van. <laughs> you certainly do not. And three, when I'm in my ring, you better be sure the lariat's going to strike 